Bonjour! My name is Shikha Nair and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel where learning is easy as well as fun. In today's video, I will be solving the exercises of lesson number 8 of a Pranal of Francais method 1 book. So without further delay, let's get started. So let's begin. So we are going to do today the exercises of lesson number 8 of a Pranal of Francais method 1 book. So let's see what's the first exercise. So the first exercise says that complete a vec. Now they have given some words and we have to fill in the blanks with the words that are given. Now before doing this exercise, you must be familiar with the text that is given in this lesson because this exercise is related to that only. So let's try. So the first one it says that Monsieur Charles Lavigne elle dash the manuel. So Monsieur Charles Lavigne is what of Manuel? So it is, he is Grand Père de Manuel. So Monsieur Charles Lavigne est le Grand Père de Manuel. That means he is the grandfather of Manuel. Second one, it says that Catherine est la dash de Denis et Manuel. So Catherine is dash of Denis and Manuel. Catherine is what? Catherine is Sir. La sœur. So, Catherine est la sœur de Denis Emmanuel. Catherine is the sister of Denis Emmanuel. Then, third one it says that Denis est le dash de Monsieur Charles Lavigne et Madame François Lavigne. So, Denis is what of Monsieur Charles Lavigne and Madame Françoise Lavigne. So, Denis is the petit fils of Monsieur Charles Lavigne and Madame Françoise Lavigne. So what does petit fils mean? Petit fils means grandson. So Denis est le petit fils de Monsieur Charles Lavigne and Madame Françoise Lavigne. Then fourth one it says that Madame Véronique Lavigne est la dash de Denis Manuel et Catherine. So Madame Véronique Lavigne is what of Denis Manuel and Catherine? So, Madame Veronique Lavigne est la mère de Denis Manuel et Catherine. So, that means Madame Veronique Lavigne is the mother of Denis Manuel et Catherine. Then, fifth one, it says that Catherine est la dash de Monsieur Patrick Lavigne et Madame Veronique Lavigne. So, Catherine is what of Monsieur Patrick Lavigne et Madame Veronique Lavigne? Catherine est la fille de Monsieur Patrick Lavigne et Madame Veronique Lavigne. That means Catherine is the daughter of Monsieur Patrick Lavigne and Madame Veronique Lavigne. The last one it says that Manuel est le dash de Veronique. Manuel is dash of Veronique. So Manuel est le fils de Veronique. That means Manuel is the son of Veronique. Now let's move to the next exercise. So the next exercise says that conjuguer ces verbes parler, habiter, aimer et détester. That means you have to conjugate the verbs that are given that are parler, habiter, aimer and détester. So let's begin with parler. So parler means to speak. So let's see the conjugation. So the conjugation is je parle, tu parles, il parle, elle parle. Nous parlons, vous parlez, il parle, and elle parle. Parler is an ER verb. Now, what does it mean? Je parle means I speak. Tu parles, you speak in an informal way. Il parle, he speaks. Elle parle, she speaks. Nous parlons, we speak. Vous parlez, you speak in a formal way. Il parle, they speak for masculine. And elle parle, they speak for féminin. Now let's conjugate the next verb that is habite. Habite means to live. So what's the conjugation? The conjugation is j'habite, tu habites, il habite, elle habite. Nous habitons, vous habitez, ils habitent, elles habitent. And what does it mean? J'habite means I live. Tu habites, you live in an informal way. Il habite, he lives. Elle habite, she lives. Nous habitons, we live, vous habitez, you live in a formal way, 
Ils habitent de les for masculin and elles habitent de les for féminin. Let's conjugate the next verb that is aimer. Aimer means to like. So let's see the conjugation. The conjugation is j'aime, tu aimes, il aime, elle aime, nous aimons, vous aimez, ils aiment and elles aiment. What does it mean? J'aime means I like, tu aimes, you like in an informal way, il aime, he likes, elle aime, she likes, nous aimons, we like, vous aimez, you like in a formal way, ils aiment, they like for masculin and elles aiment, they like for feminine. Now let's conjugate the last verb that is detester, which means to hate. So let's see its conjugation. The conjugation is je déteste, tu détestes, il déteste, elle déteste, nous détestons, vous détestez, il déteste and elle déteste. What does it mean? It means je déteste, I hate, tu détestes, you hate or you dislike in an informal way, il déteste, he hates, elle déteste, she hates, nous détestons, we hate, vous détestez, you hate in a formal way, il déteste, they hate for masculin and elle déteste, they hate for feminine. Now let's move to the next exercise. So the next exercise says that Complete avec les verbes à la forme convenable. That means complete with the correct form of the verb. So the verbs are given in the bracket and we have to complete it with the correct conjugation. So the first one is il dash français. The verb that they have given is parler. So it will be il parle français. That means he speaks French. Second one, nous dash Adeli. The verb given is habiter. So it will be nous habitons à Delhi. That means we live in Delhi. Third one, Manuel dash la glace. The verb we have to conjugate is aimer. So it will be Manuel aime la glace. That means Manuel likes the ice cream. Fourth one, vous dash à Doha. Again, habite verb is given. So it will be vous habitez à Doha. That means you live in Doha. Fifth one is je dash la télévision. The verb given is aimer, so it will be j'aime la télévision. That means I like the television. Sixth one, it's written il dash la musique classique. The verb we have to conjugate is aimer, so it will be il aime la musique classique. That means they like the classical music. Seventh one is given tu dash espagnol. That means tu parles espagnol. That means you speak Spanish. Eighth one. Mo père dash ma monsieur la vie. The verb we have to conjugate is sapley. It's a it's an s verb or you can also say a reflexive verb. So it will be mo père s'appelle monsieur la vie. That means my father's name is monsieur la vie. Then ninth one it's given je dash dans cette maison. The verb we have to conjugate is habiter. So it will be j'habite dans cette maison. It means I live in this house. Last one is el dash italien. And the verb we have to conjugate is parler. So it will be el par italien. That means they speak Italian. Now let's move to the next exercise. So the next exercise says that complete la famille. That means complete the family. So on one side they have given the members in the mescula. And on the other side they have given the members in the femina. So we have to complete accordingly. For example, on the left hand side they have written le grand père, that means the grandfather, and the femina will be la grand mère, that means the grandmother. So if the mescla is le père, that means the father, the femina will be la mère, that means the mother. So if the femina is la fille, that means the girl or the daughter, so the mescla will be le fils. That means the son. So if the mescla is le frère, that means the brother, the femina will be la sœur, that means the sister. So if the femina is la nièce, that means the niece, the mescla will be le neuf, that means the nephew. If the femina is la tante, that means the aunt, the mescla will be l'oncle, that means the uncle. 
So if the mezcla is papa, the femina will be mamu, that means mother or mom. If the mezcla is la patit fist, that means the grandson, the femina will be la patit fear, that means the granddaughter. Now let's move to the next exercise. So let's see what's the next exercise says. So the next exercise says that associate les aliments de the colon. So that means link the elements of the two columns. So the first one is le cousin. Now who is le cousin? Le cousin is la fesse de l'oncle ou de la tante. That means the son of uncle or of aunt. Next it's given la grand-mère. Now who is la grand-mère? La grand-mère is la mère du père ou de la mère. That means the mother of father or mother. Then third one it's given l'oncle. Now who is l'oncle? L'oncle is le frère du père ou de la mère. That means the brother of father or of mother. And third one it's given le neuf. That means the nephew. Now who is le neuf? Le neuf is le fils du frère ou de la sœur. That means the son of brother or of sister. Then fifth one it says that les petits enfants. Now what are les petits enfants? That are grandchildren. Now who are grandchildren? They are les enfants du fils ou de la fille. They are the children of the son or of the daughter. So let's move to the next exercise. So what does the next exercise say that? The next exercise says that Écoutez une première fois et dites si les phrases sont au masculin ou féminin. That means listen once and tell if the sentences are masculin or féminin. And the B part says that Écoutez une deuxième fois et dites si elles sont au singular ou pluriel. That means listen to the same sentences second time and tell whether they are singular or plural. So I will be speaking the sentences and first thing that you have to guess out of it that whether that sentence is mescula or femina and the second thing that you need to guess is that whether that sentence is singular or plural. So we will be doing both the parts and, uh, together that is the A part where we have to tell whether it's mescula or femina and the B part where we have to tell whether it's singular or plural. So listen to the first sentence I say Elles aiment la musique Elles sont musiciennes. Elles aiment la musique. Elles sont musiciennes. That means they like the music. They are musicians. So whether it's masculine or femina, it is femina. And whether it's singular or plural, it's plural. Then B part, listen to me. The second one I say, Elle n'est pas allemande, elle est suisse. Again, listen to me. I say, Elle n'est pas allemande, elle est suisse. That means she is not German, she is Swiss. So it's obviously femina and it is singular. Then the third part I say, Ils habitent à Paris. Ils habitent à Paris. That means they live in Paris. So it is mescula and it, they, it is plural. Then fourth part I say, Tu as l'adresse de Marine. You are l'adresse de Marine. That means you have the address of Marine. So it is femina and the uh, it will be singular. The last one I say il so français ou espagnol. Il so français ou espagnol. That means they are French or Spanish. So it's going to be masculine and obviously it's going to be plural. Let's move to the next exercise. So what does the next exercise say is that? The next exercise says mette ou pluriel. That means make the sentences into plural. So the sentences are given and we have to make it into the plural. So the first one is given elle parle français. That means she speaks French. So what will be its plural? Its plural will be elle parle français. L will become with an will become L with an S. Pal will get conjugated according to the sujet and français will remain same. So it will be they speak French. Then second one it says that il aime la moto. That means he likes the bike. So its plural will be il aime les motos. That means they like the bikes. 
Third one, it's given Jabit Apari. That means I live in Paris. So its plural will be Nous habitons à Paris. That means we live in Paris. So there is an axo missing over A. Kindly put it. Then the fourth one it says that il a une glace. That means he has an ice cream. So its plural will be ils ont des glaces. That means they have the ice creams. Then fifth one it says that tu regardes la télévision. That means you watch the television. So its plural will be vous regardez la télévision. That means you watch the television but in a formal way. Then after that, let's move to the next exercise. The eighth exercise says that lisez et complétez avec les autocollants. That means read and complete with the stickers. So there are some stickers that are given at the last of your book and you have to complete these two exercises with the help of those stickers. So the A part says that Manuel habite avec ses parents. That means Manuel lives with his parents. Le dash et la dash de Manuel sont très gentils. So it will be le père et la mère de Manuel sont très gentils. That means the father and the mother of Manuel are very kind or very gentle. Then it's written le dash de Manuel a six ans et la dash a dix ans. So here it will come le frère de Manuel a six ans et la sœur a dix ans. Next one, it will be Les grands parents de Manuel habitent à Marseille. That means the grandparents of Manuel lives in Marseille. Il, il adore le dash et la dash. So here it will come. Il adore le grand-père et la grand-mère. That means he loves the grandfather and the grandmother. Let's move to the B part. So in the B part, it's written Jam le dash. So it will be Jam le fruit. That means I like the fruits. Then it's written Jador la dash et le dash. So it will be I love la pomme. Jador la pomme. I love the apple. Et le raisin. I love the apple and the grape. Then it's written, mon frère, that means my brother, il aime le dash et le dash. So my brother, he likes l'ananas, that means the pineapple, et l'abricot, that means the apricot. Il adore le dash, mais il déteste le dash. He loves l'orange, that means the orange, mais il déteste les légumes. But he hates the vegetables. Now, these two exercises can have different answers also according to you. So, you can write down the same answers that I have written or you can also write down your own answers as well. So, let's move to the next exercise. So, the next exercise says that Écoutez et dites c'est le verbe ou la même prononciation ou non. So, listen and tell if the verbs have the same pronunciation or not. So, we have to see that whether these two verbs are having the same pronunciation or not. So, the, if it's same, you will write down V, that means yes. And if it's not, you will write down no, that means no. So, first one it's written, il parle, il parle. So, the pronunciation is same, V. Then, second one it's written, j'aime. Nous aimons. So it's no. Third one, vous regardez, il regarde. That's again no. Tu adores, il adore. It's V. Il habite, il habite. That's also V. Vous aimez, il aime. No. Tu habites, vous habitez. That's again no. Il regarde, il aime. No. Il, il regarde, il aime. That's again no. Nous parlons, nous aimons. That's again no. Now let's move to the next exercise. So the tenth exercise says that mettez le dialogue au ordre. That means write the dialogue in order. So we have to write down the dialogues in the correct order. So let's see what will be the first dialogue. The first dialogue will be Comment tu t'appelles? That means what is your name? So the answer will be Je m'appelle Petro. That means my name is Petro. So the third dialogue will be Quel âge as-tu? 
that means how old are you and the person will reply je douze ans that means i am 12 years old the next dialogue will be pedro tu es français pedro you are french and the person will reply no je suis italien et toi no i am italian and you and the person will reply moi je suis espagnol that means me i am spanish so this is the order of the dialogue now let's do the last exercise so it says that décrivez votre mère en cinq six lignes that means describe your mother in five to six lines now here i'm using the imaginary names you are going to write down your name and your mother's name so you will start by saying that bonjour je m'appelle saisha je suis étudiant de français that means bonjour my name is saisha i am the student of french and after that you are going to tell that how many members are there in your family so you will say il y a quatre membres dans ma famille that means there are four members in my family after that you will tell your mother's name so you will say ma mère s'appelle saloni and then you are going to tell her age you will say elle a 50 ans that means she is 50 years old then you can say that elle est femme au foyer that means she is a housewife after that you can say elle est très belle et sympathique that means she is very beautiful and kind and at the end you can say j'aime ma mère that means i love my mother so with this we have completed the exercises of lesson number 8 of a pronoun of français method fun book so that's all for today i hope all the exercises were clear to you and they were very very easy as well so if you want to solve more exercises of more French books with me, then stay connected to me by subscribing to my channel. And don't you forget to give your likes and your comments on my videos because your appreciation is the key to my motivation. So till the time I post my next video, au revoir and à bientôt. And you know it very well what does au revoir means. Au revoir means goodbye and à bientôt means see you soon.